Right guys, welcome to the latest video and in this one we're going to be designing some cards. Specifically product cards for sneakers. Basically something that you would see on an e-commerce site or something. So let's roll the intro to get started. Alright, so our first step, uh, I just have a CDN pulled in here over for Tailwind CSS and then some base classes on the body tag. The next step would be to create a div container for the card. And then inside this, I'll create two div containers and you'll see soon why. Alright, so this one is for the image basically. And second one is for text. Yeah. So right over here in the image container, I can come in and say img tab emmet does the magic for us and right over here as a comment I have stored uh, the image of our sneakers from Unsplash cool. so as you can see our uh, image stretches the whole way right now what we can do is on a parent card container we can let's say uh, try W64 and this would give it a fixed width and to make sure that the aspect ratio doesn't get distorted or something uh, we can say object cover so what object cover does is it sets object fit to cover for images this image is wider than it's taller so I don't think aspect ratio will get affected in this one but for general cases you would want to add object cover when designing cards of this sort all right so first after this uh, our image is sorted basically so we can say let's say bg gray 300 and inside the text we can come in and say h3 and nike sneakers yep and now as you can see this nike sneakers text is right against the edge so this text container i want to give a little padding so let's say PY4 that is one rem of padding on top and bottom and PX3 which is uh, 0.75 rem of padding on top and bottom and now you can understand why we made them separate containers because if I just added padding onto this it would affect the image as well and I want the image to stretch uh, to the whole card that's why I made it into a separate container and text into a separate container so that I can apply padding specifically to the text all right so let's save this again after the uh, nike sneakers text we want a description and for description i'm just going to put in eight words of lorem ipsum nothing special and after that you would want pricing basically so let's say dollar hundred i have no idea how much these sneakers are for and the other thing that i want to add is some sort of badges to let's say hot or new or whatever so instead of div let's go for a span for badge let's say hot and let's say new so let's start from the top of this section the first thing is to style these badges and these are secondary information so we can give it a really small text size and then let's say for hot bg uh, orange 300 and text orange 900 and then uh, you can see it's i'll zoom in for a second one two three it's rectangulish to make it into a chip or you can say rounded full okay i mistyped that sorry rounded full and just a little bit of padding on the x-axis yeah that looks more like it all right we can copy over these classes for the uh, new batch let's save this and tweak the colors from orange to red for new and orange for hot let's see how this looks cool to make them more compact there's one more thing you can do that is tracking 
hyphen tight. Let's see how that affects the hot text. It makes it more compact. B basically, this tracking stands for uh, it affects the letter spacing of the word. So we can add tracking hyphen tight to uh, both of them. All right. So now onto the H3. Basically, we can say class text uh, Excel and font bold yeah. and now for this description i am going to give it a text of sm so it's like text xl l text lg normal text and then text sm then text xs that is the sizing scale for the fonts we give it text sm and we can make this a little faded out sort of so to say that this is the secondary information so first to this whole container i can give text gray 800 so for the uh, text where we haven't specified a color it will automatically take text gray 800 and for this description we can say text gray 600 let's try that's a little more faded text gray 700 yeah that seems about right and then for again for this pricing you want the pricing to be prominent so let's add font bold tracking wide so for uh, for the badge you saw we added tracking tight and for this we are adding tracking wide so that uh, it's a little more airy basically all right so now we can go ahead and increase the spacing so I think there should be some extra space between these badges and this um, H3 basically. So we can say my MT uh, 2 on the heading H3, MT stands for margin top, hyphen 2, 2 just means 0.5 rem. Alright. And after that I think there should be some uh, spacing between the pricing and the description too. So let's say MT hyphen one so the spacing basically should uh, communicate what parts come together so we can think of it as this is different then this is a whole container and then this is a whole container and the pricing is a little different than these all right and if we wanted we could play uh, around with the size of the pricing like text Excel or text LG or whatever or you could even play around with colors let's say so textile 700 whatever makes it stand out more because you want the pricing to be right there right so subtle differences can make a lot of differences as to where the user's focus would go all right i think i don't like these straight edges so i'll just add a class of rounded over here all right and if you wanted to round these corners even further we can instead of rounded say rounded hyphen lg all right there's something that you guys should notice uh, the top edges aren't getting rounded but the bottom ones are actually the top edges are also getting rounded but we can't see them because the image has straight edges so what we can do to battle this is overflow hidden and now you can see the top edges are rounded also so basically this says whatever content is overflowing hide it so all right guys that's it for uh this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, this is just one of the card design that we have covered we're going to cover a few more in this series maybe two or three more so stay tuned and definitely tell me in the comments what you thought about this one thank you